Okay, hope you can see me okay. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well. So I've done the unboxing of this uh, diesel heater. Uh, and I'm not going to, obviously I haven't gone in detail of that. Because there's loads and loads of videos on these things. This one's a 5 kilowatt. Yeah, it comes in 2, 5 and 8 kilowatts. Uh, anyhow, it's absolutely freezing cold. It's about minus 2 outside. Uh, which might not seem a lot, but it's in my shed, it feels a lot colder uh, to the point where where you're uh, working, it, you're just shivering. So I'm gonna, I've got one of these to try it. Uh, I have a petrol car, so I have to go and get some diesel, obviously. So I'm gonna show you that now. We'll set it up, do a run. Uh, I'll put the fuel in, I've done a few little things. So we'll have a little look out in the shed now. shed or the side shed the way you can hear the the heat is on now I'll put your little heat on so we can see a little bit so let me just point you at the heater put it on the tripod just let me readjust okay so as you can see I just put it about here maybe there as you can see, I've put that tank on the top. Uh, it's it's running on, so inside, the main tank. I'll just put that down a bit. Uh, where's my light? The main tank, which is running off now, where you can see that's clean diesel, that's uh, like white diesel for a car. And I've got lots of clean stuff up there, which is more like a bio fuel with petrol and a little bit of uh, engine oil and so on and so that's better than that so I got this tank off Amazon it's moving a bit closer let's see and there's loads of different types I just wanted a, some sort of vessel to hold that uh, on the, if you look, notice on the I put some markings on just to show you this might I don't know you can see there. It's a little bit closer. Okay. Probably ought to see there. Hopefully that focuses. I don't want to go out of focus, I'm not using my finger. So this mark from here to here is when on the front screen it set it's given me three hours from there to there on level three. So that's the three segments on the front, which I don't know you can see. That's on three segments now. Yeah. So, I think there's six in total. Yeah, so that gives me three hours on uh, level three, which is not too bad considering it's only a small tank. I'll give you dimensions. The top is uh, three inch, and the bottom is four inch, five inch, uh, and the height is three inch. So it's not a small, it's not like that big it's a tiny little tank but for three hours that's all that's okay now this bit here I measured from there to there so that was one hour on on level six which is full so you could probably see it like that it's gonna get two hours two hours in a bit and then this final one which is measured from there to there that was four hours and that's on level two so one level down to what we're on now yeah so, and this is going to be switched over shortly. Now it's been on, it's been on this tank for about <coughs> 30 minutes. So, normally I run it for about an hour or two to get really hot. In fact, I'm going to turn it up to maximum. So it gets about 200 centigrade, so it cleans everything out, really hot. That's what I'm trying to do. Let me just move these. Just so you can see. There you go. It should pick itself up. I'm on the uh, Alpine mode, so which gives us about 200, 198, 200 centigrade. 
something round about there. Uh, it just saves a bit of fuel. And then what I do is, once I get to the temperature, I'm going to turn this on. And there's another one just down there for this. So this, this is for this tank, obviously. And the other one's down there. What I used is these things. I don't know whether it's going to focus. Just off a fish tank. So one of them goes from the pump. So that goes to the pump. One tank, the other tank. Yeah, that's all I've done. Uh, you could possibly like hunt around for some things like this. I don't know that's focused. It's not focusing great. Anyway, <coughs> little valves, little taps. So that's what I've used anyway. Anyway. So what I'm going to do now is just wait until it ramps up. You can actually turn that off if you have to. And then it'll go. That's full blast. Um, takes a little while. I just thought I'd show you this anyway, guys. Uh, so what I do is I run this for one hour till it's really hot. Um, and then I'll switch over to this. And then I'll put it on level three, which gives me four hours. It's, for me, it's perfect. Uh, some people might want longer. But that way, this tank's going to last just for starting up and closing down. If you start it up on this, obviously, it might not start. And you might get smoke and things. So this comes out clean, the exhaust. I'll show you the exhaust now. Well, the exhaust goes through there, goes through the wall. And you can see, there's the exhaust there. That's it, nice and clear. No smoke at all, no, I can't smell anything. There's no fumes. Uh, hopefully you can see that up okay. there. Just trying to get the right. So that's at 186 at the moment. Uh, so before I do that, we just talk about whether I think this is worth buying. Absolutely. This is one of the best things I've bought in a long time. Uh, normally I wouldn't do any work in this shed until it's summer. It's just too cold unless you get wrapped up. It's just really too cold. Now I'm always messing about out here. I might even get one from the other, but I've got a shed in the back um, in the back. In the far back, I might, it's just me wood shop. I've got like wood saws in there, table saws. I might get one for there. But then again, I don't really go out there a great deal. That shed uh, through there, through that door, that's my metal shop or shed. Uh, it's not a shop, it's just a shed. It's where I do any welding and things. I know I've got this project I'm doing at the moment. I'm just making a welding table and I'm going to convert that into a mag drill. Uh, I'm going to put a magnet, I'm going to cut all this away, put a magnet at the back uh, and just use that. So I've got a load of these cord drills. I just turned that up on the lathe. Uh, in fact, there they are. There. So I just found a load of these, which I don't, I haven't got a mag drill for. So I thought, what the hell? These are brand new, never even been used. So I'm hopefully going to use that. Uh, there we are, 206. If that focuses. Hopefully that focused. Get closer. And that now is lovely. So what I do now, 210. So what we'll do now is, can you see me? I don't want to see. I'm just going to turn this, open this. Make sure it's down. Turn it up. Up. And then I'm going to turn the other one off. What? So that one's off now. So now we're running solely, I can't see. See about that guys, I knocked the uh, record button off. So now we're running off this one now. So what I've done is I just set a timer. Let's see if that, stop that. Uh, we're able to use this now. Uh, 
it out. How many views do you watch? No, it's not working. One hour. Oh, there you go. So I've, set, I've just set a timer and then that gives me. So now we're on maximum, we only get like one hour. So you probably get one hour, two and a half hours. So now I'll start turning it down to three. And I'll put it on uh, that as well. That uses a little bit less fuel, more air, so it should get a bit hotter. Uh, now that should give me three hours, um, possibly even two actually. Put it on two, four hours. And it's going to drop it down to about 160 centigrade. And like I said, I'll let it run until I get down to its lowest temperature and check to see if there's any smoke. Uh, this sea isn't. It's a bit quieter as well. So my final thoughts on this thing. Well, definitely recommend it 100%. Uh, a little bit of fiddling on. Uh, again, I'll only use this for the winter. Once, I would say in another month from now. This is December, it's just Christmas a couple of about a week ago uh, then I won't use that until the winter again uh, and them two tanks uh, 10 litres, 20 litres each so there's 40 litres there that'll do me for what I need diesel uh, as well as mixing other fuels or tender fuels uh, there you go, it's ramping down now the you know, only thing I'm going to possibly do next is get a long extension uh, heat pipe flexible one I can put into the kitchen and blow air in uh, depending on where you are some people go through the conservatories and things like that but uh, for me it's going to stay here because I've got I already had that exhaust in for me for me uh, generator uh, I'm going to put some stronger uh, bracings on these legs so it doesn't wobble a bit and that's really it uh, oh yeah, put some little clips on the side to keep them uh, in place. Maybe 3D print something for that, but it works fine. So 100% happy with it. I haven't even set the remote control up. I'm not bothered about that. Uh, just as long as it starts up when I want. Uh, the reason why I put that on is because uh, I was mixing it into the, into the big tank, and it just it wouldn't start once. So that's not good. So I want really hot to start it, so you want good uh, clean diesel until it gets really hot, run that for like a, a long time and then before you close it down switch over to the good stuff again, leave it running for an hour on the good stuff so it burns everything off and that way you should keep prolong your life and I'll only use this for a month, maybe two months out of the year so it should, should be okay. I've ordered a spare gasket kit, a glow plug in case I need to do any work on that. and if I do have to do any cleaning I'll do a video of that I bought myself an ultrasonic cleaner so I can clean the mesh I haven't got one with me uh, let's have a look, I might have it here there we are right. I know it's not the same mesh as the one on the burn chamber but this was all rusty I put through a sonic cleaner, you see a little bit of rust there, but it came up like brand new. So I'm hoping uh, if it does need cleaning, the one in there, uh, I'll, I'll use the ultrasonic cleaner to try that out and I'll do a video of that. So that'll settle down around about this temperature. Uh, check outside for any smoke, which there isn't. And then if it is, I'll just romp it up a bit more, a bit higher. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to end this video now. If there's any problems with it, I'll leave in the comments later on. Say like something happens, I'll let you know. I would definitely recommend them. I paid £106 for the unit. Uh, personally, I, I like it all in one. Some people might want to have it. You can buy them in like just the heater, then the tank, and all that. Uh, but for me, it's perfect. Uh, I'd recommend it 100%. I got this from Viva, uh, guys over there. I've I bought a few items from them actually, like drills, lathe, I bought my lathe from there, which is this lathe here. And actually I put that on separate and I put a different 
motor on but generally this little lathe is ideal for what I need. I have a, a big a mifid through there and my little miller. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to wrap this up so I'm going to say it's definitely worth recommend buying it but you might need to tinker on with it. It's not just plug and play although it says it is it, it does need a bit of work to, to get the best out of it. Uh, Give it a thumbs up if you like this video. Any comments leave below. If you haven't subbed, I'd really appreciate that. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.